Hey, it's not often that we get guests, especially country music stars like Brett Kissel. Brett, thanks so much for joining us. 2016 and 2017 Male Artist of the Year for the Canadian Country Music Awards. He's a huge sports fan, a father of two, and of course a loving, doting husband. Uh, and you are coming off the ultimate sports weekend, at least in Toronto. You saw Toronto FC win the MLS Cup title, and then on Sunday you saw an all-Canadian matchup, the Leafs and Oilers, and I know you wish the Oilers would oh, yeah. have won. However, all in all, pretty good. You know what, and watching the loss, even though I'm a huge Oilers fan, that was one of the best losses that I've seen because when you watch a backup goalie like McElhaney and the way that he stood on his head, 41 shots, and that shorthanded breakaway of McDavid, I thought he was going to ice it for sure, but you know what, it, it is what it is. It was a great game for Leafs fans, but then the atmosphere at TFC of Uncle was one of the best things that I've ever experienced in all sports, and I think I might be addicted to football now. One and done. I yeah. mean, well, I think they have to keep you there because your streak is uh, is pretty good. Yeah, right very now, first right? game. I, I couldn't have picked a better <laughs> game in a better atmosphere. Exactly. Okay. Speaking of atmospheres, uh, it had to be a fantastic one. Oilers cut, uh, playoff run last spring. You did the anthem. Although there was a bit of a of an incident, I can yes. call it that. Yes. And for all you viewers, we're going to refresh your memory. And here's what happened that night last spring. Hey. Let's sing it I get chills watching that. I've seen it uh, uh, hundreds of times. I'm sure you've watched it over and over. But the audio in-house in the arena wasn't working, and everyone stepped up. What was running through your mind? Well, just pure panic, to be honest. I had one choice, or two choices, either hit the ditch or just try to conduct everybody. And I can't really take the credit for this because when my mic had gone down, no one in the arena could hear this. So they just started to sing. And at that point, I just took the mic off and just held it up. That was a shining moment for oil country, for Oilers fans, for the city of Edmonton, and for Canada and the National Hockey League, for another country to sing the American anthem that well um, just goes to show what true hockey fans, I think, are all about. Well, what also unites everyone is your music. You have another album. It just dropped. We were that song. What can everyone expect? You're also going out on tour yes. cross country. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic tour. And we make our music in the studio so that I can get out and get on the road. That's my favorite thing to do. So when we hit the stage, it's going to be nonstop energy and excitement. Um, like I said, it's my all-time favorite. So this new record, We Were That Song, is very random, very chaotic, extremely diverse, but something that me, my band, and everybody associated is very proud of. You've got a very busy week, a very busy schedule, but you will be making an appearance at Hometown Hockey in Airdrie, uh, Airdrie Alberta this coming weekend. What did hockey mean to your community? Because you're from Alberta, yes. uh, a few hours outside of Airdrie, right? Yeah, so we're a few hours north of Airdrie in, uh, in the area. Flat Lake is where I was, I was born and raised. St. Paul, Bonneville, Glendon, those communities were very big in the impact of my life uh, as an artist. But I cut my teeth singing anthems for uh, the St. Paul Junior B Canadians, the Bonneville Pontiacs, and I really enjoyed those memories because our community was very passionate about hockey the same way they were about country music. So um, being from a small town was a huge advantage for me, I think, for my career. But I love that I get to sit with my family, first and foremost, because we're fans of hockey. So when we get to watch hometown hockey, you know, uh, on so many weekends throughout the year and watch Ron and Tara and just get together in that community feeling that we have brought to you by sport is something that uh, is very difficult to describe, which is why I'm so happy that I get to be a part of Hometown Hockey next weekend. Well, we're very proud that you can be a part of it as well. Uh, everyone should go out to Hometown Hockey if you're in the area, of course. Brett Kissel will be there. His new album dropped. We were that song. It's terrific. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining us. And, and I don't know how you topped this past weekend in sports, but I'm, sh I'm sure you'll come up with something. Uh, the Oilers win the Cup. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you.